Jan, my wife, says, you know, I think we should go to India. <laughs> go to India? I, I knew why. You know, she's a, a jewelry designer, and there's some designers in India that uh, we we know now uh, can help her move her line along. So yeah, we picked up and went to India, and uh, I was her roadie. Yep, I was carrying her bags and following her around, and she was saying, "Go get me a glass of water," while she met with these people. And we did leave room. We were gone for for two weeks. We we did leave room to. Um, enjoy the culture and to see some of the problems and, and the issues um, that confront uh, India. It's an old country, as you know, there's a lot to see in terms of culture. India is just now pulling itself up by its bootstraps. The middle class is beginning to grow now. It, for a while there was hardly a middle class. There was the haves and the have-nots. So there, there, there's still the haves and the have-nots, but the middle class is beginning to grow. And hopefully it'll make a, start making a dent in the poverty over there, which is between seven and 800 million people. One of the reasons Jan and I went to India was uh, we know that the um, Fair Trade Organization is put to good use there. It's all over the world, by the way. Um, but it was only after there, being there, uh, and meeting some of the fair trade people, and they, in fact, took us around. Fair trade has been around for years and years. And what it is, is this organization finds people in areas, usually out in the small villages, but not always, that have talent using their hands. Uh, making jewelry, making furniture, making pillows, making whatever with their hands. And we saw examples of where three or four generations of people have worked through fair trade using their hands with almost no education uh, except the ability to be creative. This one family said they never got health care until they got involved with fair trade. And not that they're given anything. What you do, what you're taught to do, What's the old adage? Don't, don't, don't give me a fish, but teach me how to fish. That's what tri fair trade is all about. We went to um, New Delhi. We did vi visit Delhi. That's the, the original, that's the old part of, of the city. And we went to Agra. Each city is different. There are 70 different languages in, in uh, India. And so much so that sometimes people who live in India don't understand the other person if he is from a certain area remote from where they are at the moment. Uh, we also went to Kolkata. Yeah, well, it's actually Calcutta. But in subtle ways, that was not so subtle, the, the Indian people are trying to cut ties with those labels that were given them by the colonizers. And C Calcutta was one of those labels, so there's now Kolkata. Different, it's, it's as different as from LA to New York, as different as Atlanta is from Minnesota. The one city we didn't go to, and I, I, I want to go back, is one we, I grew up knowing as Bombay. Well, of course, now it's Mumbai. I wanted to visit that area and, and check out Bollywood. We'll do that next time.